Good day, grade 12s. Welcome to lesson number 64. Even though you see it says 63 there. Uh, I'm saying 64. I, I need to, I forgot to do, do revision for this activity when I did lesson 63. So I'll just put it in lesson 64. It comes from my textbook, The Distinction Bound Student. We have grade 12, grade 11, and grade 10. All right. So the question says, draw and explain the supply curve of an individual producer under perfect market. All right. Right, under perfect market. For a, I don't know how many thousand time, uh, I'm drawing this graph. The demand curve is horizontal. T is equal to AR, which is equal to MR. So this is our price. Then we have this curve called the marginal cost curve. And where it means the MR, that's, um, that's our profit maximizing point. But this question here is asking, which one is the supply curve? And to answer that question, the supply curve, uh, let me rather do it like this. Okay, yeah, that would be nice. Two, okay. I'll take a different pen and I get MC. Okay, in this case, if if I ask you which one is the supply curve, the supply curve is the green line on our MC. Okay, so what is it? Is the point on the MC above the AVC. So this red part of the MC, because this whole thing is the MC, is below the AVC. Ne? So the supply curve of an individual firm uh, in a perfectly competitive market is the, is, is the part of the MC above the AVC. Okay, so that's the answer to our first question, draw. Oh. So that's the only question. So yes, it's answered. And when we come here, you see, there it is. Explain. So I didn't even do a good job here because I was supposed to maybe make it a dotted line. And yes, so the supply curve is this point above, but I explained it. Uh, I think so. Let's see. The supply curve is represented by the part of the MC above. Yes, I did explain. So yes, even if you're looking from the textbook, the answer is correct. So you can see that is that point above because it's being explained. Right, the next one is, we did this in the previous lesson. So I'm starting by revising the activity for lesson 63, which is acti uh, activity 57. Right, what is the formula for calculating total cost? It's average cost plus, uh, uh, total average cost plus total fixed cost cost right what is the formula for uh, for calculating fixed cost it's average variable cost times the quantity how about variable cost average variable cost times the quantity average total cost that will be total cost divided by the quantity average fixed cost fixed cost total cost divided by the quantity average variable cost that will be Variable cost, total variable cost divided by the quantity. And marginal cost, change in total cost divided by change in quantity. Okay, there we have it. Let's see. Yes, and each one is being explained. And at the end, we have our formula. So if you want to pause and uh, take the, the notes down, then you are free to do so. All right, so there we have it. Yes, the last one I did is this one, uh, change in marginal cost. Oh no, marginal cost is equal to change in total cost divided by change in quantity. It's as easy as that. All right, let's go to the next lesson, which is lesson number 64. Now in this lesson, we are going to talk about profit and in particular, normal profit. Take note, this is a possible essay type question and it says to 2019. Uh, it has been extended to 2020, so it's still applicable. This can be our essay type question at the end of this year. 
you never know. All right, so what is normal cost? Uh, economic profit. All right, so in this lesson, I'm going to explain economic profit and I'm going to use numbers and prove it. All right, so we have our demand curve. And each time you should level your excess price in full and quantity. And this is our demand curve. Why is it horizontal? We explained it a thousand times. D is equal to AR, which is equal to MR. And then let's say our price is 2 rand. Okay, then this is our marginal cost curve. And this is where it meets. Okay, let me say 50 here. Alright, so question is, is this firm making a profit or a loss? This particular firm. Can you answer from home? Right, uh, if your answer is the firm is making a profit, your answer is wrong. If you say the firm is making a loss, your answer is wrong again. So what is the correct answer? And the correct answer is, we don't know. That's the correct answer. Because there is missing information here. It's more like I said to you, if you sell a jacket for 100 rand, do you make a profit or loss? You don't know. Why? Because how much did you buy the jacket for? So if you paid 80 rand for the jacket, now you can tell. So you're making a profit of 20 rand. But if you paid 120, so you're making a loss. So until I tell you the buying price or the cost of getting the jacket, you cannot tell whether you're making a profit or loss if you sell it for 100 rand. So in this case, marginal cost is simply telling us the cost incurred for producing one additional unit. Now that doesn't say anything about profit or loss. So you can't really tell whether we're making a profit or a loss. Right. So to tell whether we're making a profit or loss, we have to introduce a new curve. And I've been drawing that curve and never explained it in previous lessons because I was reserving it for this particular lesson. Okay, so that curve has this type of a shape. So it's called the average cost curve. So this curve is showing us that on average, what is the cost? Okay, so you see here, on average, the cost is higher than the price at this quantity. Okay? But as we produce more, the, the cost is decreasing. And then it starts to increase again. Right. So this is our cost on average. And you see, where we are producing, look, our average cost is at the lowest. You see? And this is our marginal cost curve. And so we are producing 50. And so this being our average cost at this output, you can see that we are making a profit of how much? Okay, we are making a profit. Okay, so we normally want to shade this one. So the shaded part represents our economic profit. And can you please prove that? All right, we have a formula and the formula is average revenue minus average cost or total revenue minus total cost so what is our average revenue this is our average revenue how much is it two rents minus what is our average cost this is our average cost see one rent so two minus one gives us one so you see that this one here is positive. So whenever we get a positive figure, we know that we are making an economic profit. You see that? It's as easy as that. And then, uh, what if we are using total, total revenue? Okay, the easiest way of calculating total, total economic profit. We get one rent, we multiply by quantity, which is 50. So you can already see that our total Cost, our total economic profit is 50 rand. Okay. But we can use another formula which is total revenue minus total cost. How do we get total revenue? We say average revenue, ne? 2 rand times quantity. So 2 times 50, what do we get? 
we get 2 times 50, sorry, we get 100. Now I'm saying we get 100. 50 times 2, ne? Minus uh, average cost, total cost is average cost times quantity. So our average cost is 1 rand. 1 times 50, that's 50. So 100 minus 50, it gives us 50 rand. Do you see that this 50 rand is the same as that? Okay, so the firm is making an economic profit of 1 rand per unit. If we want to calculate the total profit made by the firm, you simply say 100 minus 50, that gives you a 50. So let's go back to our textbook and see if there's anything I missed out. Alright, so when a firm makes, uh, oh my goodness, this is normal profit. Okay, it's fine, because I was explaining economic profit. So it's fine. So this is what I was explaining. Let me explain normal profit. Right? So for normal profit, uh, I'm going to draw the graph and I'm going to emphasize you um, what labeling your axis at all time. And so this is our D is equal to AR, which is equal to MR. And so this is our price, let's say it's five rand. And this is our marginal cost curve. Where it meets MR, that's our profit maximizing point. And this is our output or our quantity. All right, so now here I'm explaining economic normal profit. So for normal profit, uh, our AR must be equal to our AC. Okay, so I'm going to draw an AC which is equal to AR. Are we together there? So if you look at this now, you are going to see that uh, we have we use the same formula which is AR minus AC or TR minus TC. So what is our AR? Our AR is 5 rands minus. What is our AC? Look at our AC. It's also 5 rands. So if you subtract 5 from 5, you get 0. So whenever you get an answer of zero, you know that the firm is making a normal profit. And if you want to calculate the, the total normal profit, it's simply uh, the profit per unit times quantity. And so zero times 200, unfortunately, it gives you a zero. Okay, let's use the other formula, which is the longer one. But I prefer that you calculate total per unit, then you multiply by the quantity. But you can also do it this way. Alright, in that way it will be total revenue. What is our average revenue? To get total revenue, remember in the first, one of the lessons uh, where I drew a table and so on, I gave you the formula, it's AR times quantity. So AR is 5, quantity is 200. So 200 times 5, that's a thousand, ne? and so it will be 1000 minus the other one is AC because we want TC. So AC 5 times quantity that is a thousand. So a thousand minus a thousand, what do we get? Zero. Whenever we get zero, we know this is normal profit. So it's as easy as that. All right. So I was explaining this particular scenario here. Okay, so you can pause the video and read where you don't understand, but I think I've explained it. All right, then here we're saying the short run equilibrium position, okay, for an individual. Okay, in the short run, yes, we have these two possibilities. In the short run, we have this as a possibility, is it? Yes, it is, and we also have this one is a possibility, economic profit. Then we have another possibility that we are going to explain in other lessons. Okay. So you see this one, I've drawn this before, I've explained it before. 
uh, this is our industry that's our individual that's our economy profit so i'm going to give you this homework and today's homework is very long so pause the video copy this table i want you to complete this table then when you're done with that pause the video copy these questions and answer them okay we are going to revise them in the next lesson and conclude from with uh, question number three all right so we are going to do i think the next lesson might be just revision i don't know uh, if the next lesson is not that long i'll just make it a longer lesson so thank you so much i'll see you in lesson 65